What's happening, my mirrored meat logs? It's Chris, and we're gonna play some more Blues TD battles in the Moab Pit Arena. Still a pretty darn high arena, playing some decent players. Still not anybody amazing, though. It's a little bit upsetting. I kind of want to play somebody really, really good again. So I think I need to wait until I get to the BFP Coliseum, and uh, hopefully uh, I can start using my best strategies that we've been learning across time, my friends. So again, this is a repeat slash redo video of a crappy video that I'm... It's not a crappy video. It's a good video. But the recording was bad because I don't know why. My recorder sometimes is stupid. It's generally, like, I, I only have issues maybe once every four months or something like that. Like, nothing too often. But it is a little bit upsetting when it does happen because you're like, I just wasted an hour of my time or two hours of my time to make this happen. And I still want to... Uh, uh, you know, show you guys stuff. So, anyways, we got Bidon here, Bid Bidham, Bidham 11, and we're gonna be doing a, uh, a sort of adapted strategy to what we've been doing. We're gonna do Ninja Mortar Banana Farm. So this is actually a pretty reasonably good level for this, actually. And we do use our bonus though. The bonus is is nice to have. You know, depending on what we get, if we get Cannon or Dart Monkey or Engineer or things that are useful. Um, you know, tat shooter and things like that. Things that are useful, we do end up using them sometimes. But we can survive with just Ninja Mortar, and that's that's something you should probably note. Um, so, Banana Farm start. Yes, yes indeed. So we're gonna go like this, we're gonna do our Banana Farm start. Now, do we want to go for a Ninja or a Mortar start? Generally speaking, if somebody goes, uh... Banana Farms, as their starting thing, I go Ninja. That's kind of like my, my thing that I like to do. Not a necessity, you can still do it the other way. He's going to rush me with some balloons over here, but I'm actually going to try and tank it. I'm going to do one, two, two red balloons back at him. Wow, he's going to go crazy on me here, guys. So I'm going to have to do a, another couple set of road spikes and possibly even lose lives on top of this. He's going to go for even more red balloons against me. Holy crap, hola, dude. So this is kind of interesting because nobody usually does this. Um... So I'm going to get my second banana farm over here, and we got to start upgrading this guy really quickly, because otherwise we're going to lose a ton of lives here, guys. Um, so there's that. We got this guy up. Still going to lose some lives on this. We got the 2-0, though. He's still rushing with a lot of balloons. I'm trying to get my 1-0 my over here as well. Got no road spikes left. Um, I got to get the third tier, I think, before anything else happens. I can't even get a 3-1 yet, or 2-1 yet. I got to get the 3-0 first. There's double shot. I got this guy in first. That's kind of stupid that that's happening. And we're going to have to go all the way up to a 2-1 over here. Oh my goodness gracious. So he's going to hurt us a lot of lives, guys. That is definitely important to note. He's going to hurt us a lot of lives. Um, he kind of switched from farm income to uh, uh, balloon income, though. So we're going to counter rush with a couple pinks really quick. Let's see what he does against it. And he's going to start road spiking. So honestly, that was a pretty interesting strat, though. I got I to gotta give him... I gotta give him some credit for that. That was pretty nice. Hurt me a lot. Doing a ninja start is definitely a little bit on the difficult side to do. We do keep uh, a little bit ahead on banana farms, but it's, you know, not, I mean, like, barely. Like, barely ahead on banana farms, because he's got a higher balloon income than us. Alright, um, so, I gotta be ready for round eight, though. I don't know if he's gonna be very, very aggressive, because he knows that I already used a set of battle energy, and, uh, I only have a ninja right now, so... A little bit tough. It was a little bit tough to do. This guy's pretty good. But Don is playing really, really well over there. So here's my fifth banana farm. Oh my god. But for this next round, I definitely, definitely, definitely need to get my mortar up. So I don't want to get too aggressive here, guys. I might even go for a yellow rush on top of getting my mortar. Um, so let's let's do it. Let's do the mortar uh, up here. Not sure exactly where to put him, but I got the rapid reload. And I'm going to go for a yellow rush against this guy, but I need a pretty reasonable sized yellow rush to do any real damage. There we go. We see the banana farm. That means yellow rush. Go, baby yellows. Go. I mean, giant yellows. I mean, yes, go yellows. All the yellows. So he's going to try and uh, he's going to battle energy on top of it. He's down to less lives than us already with that one rush right there, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Played it really well right there. I'm, I'm pretty happy. Technically, I had on banana farms. Oh, he's going to get a monkey ace. Why down there? That's weird. Interesting, I guess. But okay. Alright, so we've got our mortar up here. We really don't have that high level of a ninja yet. Um, I kind of want to get a fourth tier ninja, though, because, again, 67 lives is kind of risky to go for. We're going to go for a quick regen lead. He's got no uh, lead popping power yet. I do have lead popping power with my mortar. A little bit afraid, though, that these leads will randomly miss, or, so or the mortar will randomly miss, or something like that, though. 
Um, so there we go. He's going to get a cannon for his lead popping power. I'm going to get my fourth tier ninja up just because I want to have him. And we're going to get ready for some pretty hardcore rushes here, guys. He doesn't have that great of a defense. I'm going to go for some zebras and some other things. I want to get my signal player as well for camel detection. Uh, camel leads and all that stuff. He's got no camel lead popping power. Let's do one quick camel lead. He's got no juggernaut. And we might... F oh, there we go. He's trying to get the juggernaut up. And I'm going to follow up with some z... Oh, he's going to rush me. He's going to rush me. Oh, he forced a battle energy on me. Nicely played, my friend. Nicely played. He forced the battle energy and made me sell banana farms. What am I going to do? Let's go for a pretty beefy regen rainbow rush. See what he does against it. Um, with the Juggernaut and the cannon, will he be able to defend? I'm going to use 42 lives. He's going to use the battle energy. And I think he's going to defend. Um... I'm going to go for it, guys. Big regen rainbow rush. The only way he's going to stop this is with a 4-2 cannon. Will he get the 4-2 cannon up in time? Doesn't look like it. And we're going to take him down. All right, so a, a really, really good player would have been able to get a 4-2 cannon in time and defend that rush. But he didn't He didn't defend that well enough. He has a good record, too, by the way. Didn't even realize. Um, but we ended up pulling that out. I was a rough one, guys. I was definitely a tough one for us. Now, we got Trami over here, so we're getting some better players over here. All right, Zen Garden. Skip a ties. I'm not a fan of Zen Garden. Cards. Ooh, another day. Had a tough one. All right, so, um... Chicka chicka boom boom. Let's uh let's do it. Alright, I'm ready. Oh, he's gonna skip that too? Alright. And Snowy Castle. I see how it is. Bring it on. <laughs> get ready. So let's see what we get a random a wizard. Okay, I'll take that guy. Probably not gonna be all that effective, but hey, every once in a while you can make him uh, useful for yourself. So this is a weird one, because of course banana farms are hard to use on this tile, or on this map. Um, it's, like, you only really can get one banana farm, and then you kind of have to do, like, Blue Nico after that. Or you can put one more down here, but that's also kind of, kind of tough to do. So, just one set of road spikes. So, I guess we'll do a banana farmer. We're going to pop him right here, and hope that we can reach, uh... So I'm going to do some balloon income. Let's do that first. Lots of balloons over here. I'm going to pop my ninja down or my mortar down in just a second. Don't know which yet. I'm kind of thinking about it right now. He's going to go dart monkeys as well. Another dart monkey player. Interesting. All right. Um, so this is going to get kind of crazy, guys. Uh, he's going to get multiple dart monkeys up, so he's not going to go very many banana farms either. So I'm just kind of switching over to balloon income after I got my first banana farm. And the reason why I did that is, again, because you can't really fit very many banana farms on this map. So I'm trying to cause as many issues as I possibly can against this guy. Now, he's not going any balloon income yet at all. I don't think those are I don't think those are scent balloons, are they? I think those are naturals. I'm not sure, to be honest. They look like they could be some scent balloons, just regular space blues. He doesn't have the balloon decal, so you can't tell. I think it's actually uh, a benefit to have no balloon decal, by the way. So we're going to get our mortar going. Um, let's pop him over here. Um, I'm going to try and maneuver him back over to the, there once I get the chance to, but at this point, it's, I'm kind of stuck in that spot, so we'll, we'll just let it happen for a little while. Uh, as soon as he stops sending out balloons, we'll have to switch over. And he's going to start with doing some pinks, too. Crap. 354, 54, 54, Alright, so we start defending these pinks a little bit better. Um, still have not even gotten a 3-1 ninja. It's just a 3-0 at this point. I'm trying to spend all of my money on income as much as I possibly can, obviously. So we got some blacks coming out against us as well. We have to get the 3-1 now. Otherwise, we're going to be doomed. And let's swap this guy over to the front now. So now he's going to start popping all the group balloons uh, up closer to the front, which will give us time to burn them down to nothing um, once we start upgrading to that guy. Alright, so we're going to go for a Yellow Rush as well, because this is going to cause some problems for him, but won't cause that many issues for us. So, Gigantor Yellow Rush. Maybe going all the way up to 500 Eco with a Yellow Rush right here. I don't know if I should follow with some Regen Yellows too. I think just regular Yellows are better. So here we go. Giant Yellow Rush. Hardcore Yellow Rush. He's going to get a Wizard up. I'm trying to get a Lightning Wizard? He's going to get a Lightning Wizard up to defend these Yellows, and I think he can defend it without a Battle Energy possible. But we get all the way up to 523 economy, which is definitely nice for us. Not going to hurt him basically at all, though. 
Um, and we did force a battle energy, though. I guess that's kind of nice. We went from 400 Eco to 550 Eco. That was pretty crazy right there. So here's Birdie Stuff, increased accuracy. I'm going to stay away from any of the other upgrades for now, because I, I really need to start spending my money on a fourth tier ninja if he decides to rush me. Otherwise, I can't defend anything. All right, um... So a glue gunner, that's kind of an interesting tower. I'm actually kind of proud of him. Nobody does glue gunners. Like, nobody. So that's kind of cool. I want to find a good strategy that can use glue gunners to uh, my advantage. We're going to go Banana Plantation over here because he's really rushing with a lot of crappy balloons and not really expecting a rush. But I want to get... Um, I want to get the Blue Jitsu, but I just can't get it just yet. I have to make sure I spend my money correctly. So what is he going to do? What is he going to do? I'm going to pop in a quick 0, zero Ninja over here just in case I need to get 2-3. And I'm going to get another Banana Farm. So that's going to allow us to... Oh, he's going to rush me a little bit, I think. But is it, we have enough defense. Don't even need to use the battle energy or anything, so he just laughed at me. <laughs> so we're going to get this ninja now. Um, blue Jitsu time, baby. Blue Jitsu with distraction. We can defend a lot of stuff. He's only got one banana farm now, and I feel like we have a higher income. So the later on we go, the better we're off. So we're going to get this and this now. Getting a reasonable defense. Just to, I feel like he's going to start rushing us. And ooh, we see a fire mage as well. So, he sold a dart monkey to get, or he sold a dart monkey to get another wizard? Is that what he did? Kind of interesting. Let's do a quick zebra rush. Um, not the most efficient income you can get, but still not that bad. So anyways, I feel like he's going to defend this pretty easily. Um, I thought he was going to use battle energy, but no, that glue gunner's pretty boss. So let's go with pink balloons instead. Now the question is, do we want to go for... Oh, man. That's a pretty interesting strategy. Kind of like a, a Fire Mage, Dark Monkey combo. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. So anyways, what we're doing now is we're actually getting a lot of income. And the reason why we're doing that is because I feel like I can defend any Moabs or crazy Regen Rainbow Rushes with a, a few little adaptions to my current thing and maybe selling my farms. So if I get a thousand income on top of having those banana farms, though, I'm going to be feeling real good. So we're going to lose some lives right here. Holy crap. That was pretty rough. I was not expecting to have that happen. But okay. Okay. So it looks like we need to get another mortar or something like that. But we got a thousand income now. Oh crap, he's going to rush me, isn't he? Oh crap. Um, here's my mortar up to third tier on the left side this time. Losing even more lives. But the ninja is still doing a decent job. I have to battle under this. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose these stupid balloons. Kind of sad right there. But it's okay. It's okay. We still got a thousand income, way better than his defense, and we're gonna go for a BFP pretty soon over here. Um, we'll wait a few more seconds and BFP him. There's the BFP. Okay. We got that flown against him. What are we gonna do now? We need to get ready for a 2 3 ninja, maybe even a 2 4 ninja, if he decides to do a BFP or fast cooldown mob rush against us. There's the BFP. Two fire mages, dude. How powerful is this going to be? I mean, he's doing a pretty good job killing that BFP, but the balloons inside are gonna be the real problem. So I'm going to get my Flash Bomb, Ninja Discipline, and Sharp Shurikens. I feel like it's just worth it for me. Um, one BFB could be enough. He's going to try and counter rush me, I think. We are going to sell these guys for a Sabotage Supply Lines, and we're going to use it pretty much right away. I'm going to battle energy on top of it. Hope that my 4-2 Ninja can deal with these guys. I'm going to move my mortars around. He, defend he did not defend anyways, so it didn't even matter that he tried to rush us. <laughs> baby! Oh, baby! That was a tight game right there, man. Oh my goodness. Alright, so let's do one last game in here. One last Ninja Banana Farm Mortar Strategy. And we get another player that's pretty decent. Honky Tonker over here. He must be from the south or something. I don't know. That's just a honky tonk thing to say, right? A little bit of a country guy. So let's do it. Let's do... I, this is actually... Honestly, let's, let's skip the map. Let's skip it. Um, I could do A game. I could totally do A game. A game's a good map for me. Let's see if he's okay with A game. I'm I'm down for A game. Let's just make A game happen for both of us. Come on, Honky Tonka. Don't skip it on me. Click that ready button. Click it. Just click it. I know you wanna. You wanna do it so bad. He does, he clicks it. Alright, I'm excited, guys. So this is actually a really, really nice level for us. Because the mortar is super duper duper powerful on this map. Um, it's gonna get, um, 
really, really strong. The only thing is you cannot really start off with a motor on this map because you're not going to get the balloons that are going to, the natural balloons and the scent balloons kind of combining on top of each other. So let's use a set of road spikes already. Bam, we get that guy going. We're going to do a banana farmer as well. Uh, honestly, not really sure where to put him, but just put him there. We'll see what happens. So now three sets of reds, and I'm going to get my ninja up. All right, so there's my ninja. Hopefully he's going to be strong enough soon enough. And he's going to go a ninja strat as well. Snap Roonies, baby. Snap oh Roonies. So we did some lives of damage. We were able to defend that because we didn't send out, uh, or we didn't get any balloons sent out against us. So there's another banana farm. Slightly faster than him. We're doing amazing right now. We're, we're just, you know, every little tiny advantage that we can take, we're going to take it. But now, of course, I need to get some stuff up before things really hit the fan. So let's do a couple pinks against this guy and get some upgrades flowing. We chill out with the banana farms for a little bit. Um, realistically, though, real, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to make the pink balloons overwhelm him so the natural balloons actually kill him. We don't even care that much that the pink balloons actually get through. Like, it's nice that they do, but it's not even a necessity. So we're just causing some issues overall. Pink Balloon's Overwhelm. He does end up getting the third tier ninja, though, so it's gonna it's gonna stop soon. Real quick, guys. That damage is gone. It's gone already. Oh, that kind of sucks. My banana farmer in a horrible spot. <laughs> horrible spot. I should have just moved him over. I, I was trying to fit a banana farm on both sides. That didn't work out at all. So here's Sharp Shurikens. Nice little helpful upgrade right there. And... Uh, what do you guys think we should do next? Um, you know, I'm honestly thinking that, like, it really would not be that bad of an idea to go for a monkey ace, as ridiculous as this sounds, a monkey ace mortar strategy, too. I think that's possible, too. There's so many things that are possible that are possible now. Usually the weakness to the, uh, the monkey ace is somehow camo leads. Like, everything else eh, just kind of makes sense, just works out. But against those camo leads, it's very difficult. So here we go, guys. Instead of getting a third tier ninja, which I do want to get eventually, I'm going to go for the mortar now. So here's my mortar. Uh, and we might even do a yellow rush against this guy. Let's do some yellows. Uh, see what he does against it. We're going to get a lot of bananas really quick, though, by the way. He's going to battle energy those yellows, so we're going to hold off on the yellows for a little bit. And we're going to do another yellow rush as soon as the battle energy is gone. Mmm, yes, I love doing this. Double rush. He's going to go for a dart monkey, though. Kind of an interesting play. Uh, a catapult dart monkey in a really odd spot. Woo! But you look at that. No battle energy now. He might have to sell a banana farm to defend these things, or he might lose the game. Honky Tonker is not country enough to defend these balloons, and the Honky Tonker will be defeated by the Yellow Rush. Wah, 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 wah. Doesn't it suck to lose against yellows? Like, it just shows, like, you played like crap right there. You know what I mean? Like, I've lost to yellows, too, and I, I don't generally think that that's, like, a normal thing, like if you lost the yellows, you sucked it up. It's just the truth, you sucked it up. And the other player didn't play really well, you sucked it up. So anyways, um, that's a that was a pretty nice strategy right there. Overall, I think we did really, really well. We were able to micro out of a lot of issues that we were having. We had some issues overall with def defending some of the weirder rushes that came out against us, especially big, you know, uh, regen rushes and stuff like that, but we managed and we're happy, and we survived, and we're good, and I'm actually, I'm, I'm liking this strategy a lot. I still think there's a lot of ways that we can go about doing this, but this is one one strategy that I think you, should, you guys should definitely, definitely check out. At least try it out, and see how much you like it. So, uh, if you enjoyed, press that like button. Thanks so much for watching, and have a super duper delicious day.